Hello there, welcome back to IASTEC. In this video, we are going to learn how to use OpenAI API in your React.js application. This is going to be very quick, very short and very basic tutorial where you will learn how to create a very basic tool that will summarize your long text into very short, concise and condensed text. So let's begin. This is my folder that I have opened in my VS code. Here I will create my React.js project. So I will be using the Tailwind CSS to design my layout. So let's begin. Okay, so this is the documentation from the Tailwind.css website. Here they have a very simple straightforward process to use the Tailwind CSS with the React.js uh, with the React. Okay, so now I will copy this command and run in my terminal. Open the terminal in the root directory of your project and paste this command. And here instead of giving the project name, I will add dot. So with that, it will create the project files in the same directory without creating a new folder. Just press Y. Okay, you can see that files are being created. All right, the project has been installed and now let's uh, go back to the documentation and i will copy this command to install the tailwind css as the dev dependency also let's copy this command to initialize it after it is installed okay paste it press enter this will initialize the tailwind css and that will also add the tailwind.config.js file that initialization next we need to configure the tailwind.config.js file so i will copy this entire file and paste it here and now we have to copy this and put it in the the source slash index.css file so let's go to the source index.css file i'm going to delete all of this existing code and paste it there now let's start the react project so paste this command it will immediately start the react.js application all right so you can see that project has been started in the browser as well now let's uh copy this basic code to test the tailwind css to see if it is working so here in the app.js i'm just going to replace everything and paste it. okay you can see that tailwind css is currently working now uh, there is a website tail blocks i guess so we can use these kind of websites to get some basic free source code uh, to give our application a quick look first of all i need a nav bar so this is a header so let's click on that and click on the view source it will give me all of the html along with all of the tailwind css classes so copy it and let's paste it here okay now let's uh, check it you can see that our nav bar has been created and ready to be used as we are making the summarization tool so after this area i need to actually let me fix this thing and here let me add some href because it is now complaining and the a tags so here i will just add hash for okay so i have provided the href so here i will also add it to get rid of these yellow lines all right now let's go back to the tail blocks and now I need some okay let's find form elements so that we could use them okay this is the contact us form we can use this code okay so this is the code let's copy this entire piece of code click on the copy to the clipboard <coughs> and below that header just paste it and see in the browser uh, i got some errors so it is saying that uh, there should be a closing tag for the input so let's see what's wrong there okay we have the input but has to have this slash at the end otherwise it will complain all right so you can see we have the form now i will get rid of the extra fields i just need one text area that's it thing else so just move everything else <coughs> okay so this is the text area now let's update the heading really quick summarization tool okay and here let me add some description in the paragraph this is a simple ai summarization tool that can summarize any text into a few sentences anyways so you may have noticed that uh, i got a suggestion right in my vs code that is because i'm using uh, an extension from the vs code that is github copilot very friendly that is very helpful but so i just wanted to share it with you if you are curious this is the ai based extension from the github copilot anyways so now here this is the title this is the input and get rid of this extra text content and here i will add a text summarize okay so now this is the tool uh, that we are going to connect with the ai so here we need to create two states content that will hold the content let me import the use state from the react so let's import it on the top okay and after that we need to have another state for the summary okay 
all right now let's connect this content property with the text area so here i will add a value and also connect it with the on change so if there's a default value then that would be loaded in the text area and if something is changed it will update the state and once we hit the submit button we will call a function summarize and let's call that function on button click on click summarize okay and below that let's play uh, make a placeholder to put the summary summary i'm trying to get suggestion from the github copilot so that it could help me to make some basic text okay so here okay so here we will display the summary and before that let me the hr tag to add a horizontal line all right and now uh, let's uh, add some summary for now i will just add a fake summary so i just added this fake uh, text in it and now i will set it to the summary state and now test let's suppose i type something hit summarize button why uh, let me add the alert <coughs> Uh, let me remove these this svg i don't need it let me remove this svg as well let me fix this html4 as well so we are using class but we should have used the class name attribute instead of that fix it as well place all okay and sorry about that i added the on click on the wrong place it should be here on the summarize button that's why it was not working so now let's hit the summarize button and we got the alert and the summary has been added we remove the alert let's hit it summarize and the summary okay now it's time to use the ai to do that uh let's open the open ai api documentation go to the api reference and here there are several ways to use it so first of all uh there is one way that you can directly use their api url by using the fetch method or you can uh, install the end uh, ai as well anyways i will just be using this one so let's let's copy this and here I have a variable const url and now we will save the api key uh let me get my api key i saved it here earlier so let me get it back from the position okay all right so normally this is not a good practice to put api key in your client application it should be in the server but just for the most just for the demonstration purpose i am just putting it here so that i can show you how to use it now i have created now i have I have created the headers and next we need to create the data. Okay, so here we will mention the name of the model for now uh, this uh, model is fine so there are two messages first one is from each system you are a helpful assistant then we have the user and this uh, its content content is coming from there but we have to specify in the system message that they have to provide us some so uh, let me modify it and you have to summarize the text provided by the user okay so whenever a user will provide some uh, text it will immediately summarize that so we, this is a very basic prompt you can write more fancy more advanced prompt to make it better this is just to show you how it is going to okay i am using the fetch api and here i have used the post method and now i am getting the json and from the we will get in the result we will get the choices array and in that array the first property uh, option the first item in the array would be the message and that would be an object and there we will have the content that will be our actual message so we got the summary and now we can set the sum further let me show you the payload here as well you can can see that we got the choices array and this is the first element of that array that has the message property and then it has the content property okay so let's give it a quick try so let me copy some content from blog let's say this is the blog that i want to summarize so i will just this paste it here okay now let's hit the summarize let me open the inspect element as well so that i could see if i made a mistake i could see that in worker console so let's do that in the network i can see that request has been started and i got the summary all right so this is how you can create summary so let's suppose uh, you can want to summarize a youtube video you can do that as well just open a video start today with GoDaddy and click on the more and on the bottom you will have the show transcript section you can use it to get the entire transcription let me copy it all and show you so this video is basically about creating rest api in the node.js so i'm going to summarize let's paste it here and click the summarize all right you can see that the summary has been created it's saying that user text discusses creating an api in node.js the process involves setting up development environment by installing node.js and then creating a node.js project and installing dependence they show how to create endpoints handle crud operations work with the query parameters and request bodies so connect to the 
the database, etc. In this tutorial, I just wanted to show you how to use OpenAI API key and how to connect it with the Node uh, with the React.js application and how to make real world applications. So this is the beginning of my AI series, AI related uh, videos that will mix the programming languages or frameworks like React, Angular and next year so i will be making a lot of videos in uh, future that will be consuming the ai and making some interesting things with it so if you also are interested in this kind of videos then please make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the bell icon so that you could get notified for my upcoming videos i am also going to make uh, a playlist uh, that is related to related to it so you can save that playlist as well to stay updated so if you have any questions feedback or suggestions uh, or if you want to suggest any video then please leave them in the comment section and i will do my best to reply them and reply them as soon as possible thanks for watching see you next time